Hi friends, I have a $15 bag. Uh, I was traveling and I was able to get some bags. The last one I did was $45 and it didn't have very much good stuff in it. So this one was only $15, so I'm not expecting great things, but it would be nice if there was something in it. So I don't think I would have bought it if I didn't see something. So, But it was at the end of the night and it wasn't closing and we were in a hurry. So, Well, it wasn't closing, but we were in a hurry. We were going to a play. We went to see Aida. It was fun getting to do that with my kind of fun, fun week. Traveling all over, so that was fun. Anyway, couldn't get it open. <laughs> this, every store has different there's bags or jars or whatever. Okay. Broken. I'm just going to throw that out. I don't think, or unless I can, yeah, no. Oh, I can take that off and then put it in the, somebody might want that. Just take that off and throw that away. Uh, watch. Doesn't look like it's anything exciting. Armatron. It actually has a battery in it. I might steal a battery. My girls were here and looking for battery the other day. <laughs> I didn't have one. So there's that. Um, also, my I have somebody that likes the watches too, so. Uh, leather, it's in good condition, it says Hawaii on it. I'm going to put that with the luau stuff. The boys like that kind of thing at the family reunions. Okay, this also is in good condition. It's a luau thing as well. Looks like I'm going to have a lot of luau stuff in there. Um, this is one of those uh, Fitbit kind of cases, so it's not going to do me any good. Um, the replica of a bear, um, claw, looks like. It wouldn't be an eagle talon, that looks like, uh, either way, scouts is where that's going. That's going into my scout thing. If it's a bear claw or a eagle talon, they are both interesting to the boys. And I have a bag of stuff when I get them out of here that I put the Boy Scout stuff, so... We can look that up, figure out what it is, and let the boys look at it. Um, this is a clay with a little glass bead in it. Um, I got something similar to that when I was in Mexico. It's in good condition. It's cute. I'll probably put it in the pinata pile. So I bag them up, put them in the pinata pile, and then when we have a pinata, I fill it with stuff um, for those that can't have candy. Um, a lot of kids can't have candy as a hair hair band, I guess, a elastic headband. Um, usually hair stuff I don't keep because, yeah, for good reasons. Uh, a little Hope necklace. Kind of looks like a halloween -y or something, but we'll donate that. Um, oh, that's kind of cute. It's a little bracelet, hearts bracelet. I'll put that in the dress-ups with my granddaughter. Um... This is a very, very small wristed turtle bracelet. I will put that also with the um, blue owl stuff. A silver, feels like plastic beads actually. They don't feel like metal. Uh, yeah, they're plastic. Um, I'll just donate that. We got a couple of magnets stuck to everything on down the table. Hold on. <laughs> I'm dropping these stupid bracelets everywhere out of the bag. Okay, so we've got easy way to find out what's magnetic and what's real and what's not real. Okay, so those are all magnetic, so they are obviously not real. Um, if they're in good condition, I'll put them in a bag and let somebody take them in a yard sale or donate them to a charity. Um, if they are um, not magnetic, I check for silver markings. This one looks like it could be silver. And then um, yep, it's sterling. Let me show you. Gotta love it. So my $15 bag has produced more than my 
my $45 bag as far as silver goes. Okay, it's stamped, but it's very light and um, the reflection is not the best, but right there, it's, it's only partially written. You can see the letters. So, yay! Let's see, got some sterling. It's kind of pretty too. Okay, then this one was not magnetic either. So let's see if I can see writing on this one. It looks more like a brass, maybe copper plated. Doesn't quite look as real, but it could be. It, the sun went behind a cloud and it got dark in here. Um, so. First, I'm going to try polishing it up. If it's silver plate, it will tarnish and will come off on your fingers. So you can see there's a little tarnish coming off. But if it's brass underneath, um, it looks like it's plated. Um, but it's really tarnished so sometimes tarnish can look like plating but if it's real it would be nice if it was stamped Hmm. I'm thinking it is plated. By the scratches and scrapes in it. Taking a lot of time on that one, sorry. One more try. I do have a silver testing kit, but the problem is if it's plated, you have to scrape really deep to get to. Yeah. It's plated. Um, so if it's plated, you have to scrape really deep. Um, It's so hard. No. But this will show more of the plating I was gonna was telling you about. Okay, so so I could see that there was some scraping and stuff. Now if you look very carefully at the edge of this, you can see copper. Let's see where is it in right on the end of this. There is metal copper showing through. And then also there's a little bit of green when there's ever green and you can see green. Can you see that red on the edges? So, and then there's copper, uh, green. So you can see the red kind of at the edges. That's copper. So I could do two things. I can throw it in the recycle bin or, or I can throw it in the, um, donate. Somebody can polish it up and wear it thing. So I'm going to recycle it. Kind of a catchy thing touch on things. Okay, somebody made this. Um, it looks like the Boy Scouts would think that's just awesome. So we're going to put those in. It doesn't even look like they've worn them. It just looks like they made them. So we'll put those in the Boy Scout pile. Um, a heart, might, mind, and strength. So little dog tags. Looks like from a camp of some kind. So normally what I do is I take the dog tag off and recycle it. And then I put the little dog tag things in a baggie and I have a, a container, plastic container where I have them all. So that if I ever need them for Boy Scouts or something or Girl Scouts, Girl Camp or something, I have them. Um, this is the American Spirit USA Whistle. 
on a chain. So what I do with these is I clean them with alcohol, bleach, and or uh, hydrogen peroxide, and then I put them, um, link them with a keychain onto the emergency kit, 72-hour kits for my kids and I. So my kids now that they're leaving away have also created um, their own emergency throw in the back of the car or hike backpack. So um, I just put one together for Princess 4 for her car. So I will clean this off and give it to her and she can clip it on the outside of that kit for her car. So that's going to go with that. Plastic beads. Um, there was something similar to this in the other bag and it was non-magnetic. So I thought it was hoping it was silver. Somebody had cut through it and or it was like a cut one. And um, I was hoping it would be silver, but um, when I scraped down a little bit, it was copper. So this is not magnetic. It was from the same store. So um, I am guessing this is also copper, but I will test, scrape it down and test it, but I don't want to take the time to do that with this bag because the last bag took forever. Um, once again, we've got camp something something got some beads it looks like a day camp for scouts or something so I'm gonna I'll put the beads in the container with the some pony beads take off this thing recycle it and then use this for when we do the same thing with boy scouts where we give them beads and we give them pony <laughs> we do the same thing okay this is a designer necklace so I will look that up online kind of cute This has words on it, but it's really dark and I can't tell. And the necklace itself is, I think, supposed to be black or it's very, very, very dirty sterling. I don't think it's sterling. I think it's just supposed to be black. It has a M charm or something on it. It doesn't look like it all came together. It looks like... Looks like somebody put it together. Just double checking for any kind of marking. It actually looks like it might have had silver plate on it at one time and it came off. So I don't want any of these things. So I'm going to go ahead and donate that whole thing. Or I could throw it in the recycle. Uh, cute little princess necklace. I have a little bag of like... Um, Put them in pinatas, so like I'll put it in a little baggie and then put them in the pinata, so that'll go in there. Well, hello, a crystal. Looks like a homemade one. It's not a very clear crystal. It looks like it might have been found and silver tapes on it. Um, the magnet went jumped up on the necklace part. So um, I have a daughter that was asking for a crystal for some reason. So I will see if she wants that. It's not a very cute one, but it is a crystal. Um, 80s gold plate. Excuse me. Gold plate necklace. That's not exciting. Golden Age earrings, rich jewelry to adorn your something, designed by Victor, surgical still. So, brand new, kind of cute. I have a daughter that might like those. If not, we'll use them as prizes for a game that I call. Check it out on my blog. It's either or. Or my blog or my YouTube channel. I think I've done a video about it. You have boxes and you put things in the boxes and you have them a gift and you say, hey, you can have this prize or you can take something from the boxes and they usually go for the boxes and then there's funny things in the boxes. Um, kind of cute. Somebody might want that. My girls don't do bracelets. They have small wrists. So, um, This is interesting. So this is a gold chain on a, I mean a gold necklace on a really beat up dark bronze chain and There's magnetism, but I think it's through the chain itself. I don't think it's 
the heart is magnetized. Um, I don't think it's gold just by the look of it, but I can test it. And then what I would normally do with this kind of thing is I put it around jars for Halloween and then hang, put potions and stuff in them. And then we hang keys and um, dragon wings and angel wings and things like that off of them. So I will do that with that most likely. I don't really think it's real, but I want to test it just to make sure. Oh, that's adorable. Like that little map watch. I have a son-in-law that loves maps, so maybe I'll see if he wants that. A kitty. Kitty watch. <laughs> and it's working. I might steal the battery. I have a granddaughter might like it. I don't know. Probably not. Probably just don't need it. The watch list for now. Um, huh. This looks like a Fitbit watch. No charger. Let's see if I can see what brand it is. to look it up see if I can find a charger for it I don't know can't tell the brand LG it's an LG Fitbit watch I don't know just look that up see if I can find a charger see if it works okay a dolphin with a little crystal that could go in the pinata, that could go in the luo, that can go around um, a jar at Halloween, like dolphin something or other, potion. So that's interesting. Um, a squished, no, it's not a penny, it's just a copper piece that says J on it. So that will go in the recycling. Um, the feather charm will just take off. Um, there's no, I don't think anybody's going to really want that. Uh, a cute little crystal -y bracelet for my granddaughter. She'll love that. Um, a Fitbit holder. Empty. A watch band, I guess. I don't know. Bracelet. I will donate those. Oh. Okay, in the other bag I had... Let's see this fill up. It's one of those magnetic bracelets. Um, my granddaughter might like that too. Uh, okay, so in the other bag I did, there was this thing, and I thought it was silver because it polished up really well, but I couldn't see any markings on it. So let me see if there's any on this one. This doesn't look like it came with this either, so it's kind of weird. Okay, so there's a little magnetism, and it seems like it's the metal thing in the inside because the beads themselves don't have magnetism. So um, I'm going to test them. Because I can't see any metal coming through, like any copper. So And they polish up like silver, so they could be silver plated, but I'm guessing that they are silver and they are put in, somebody made them. Um, and the wire inside is not real. So I will have to scrape that and test it, but I didn't want to take the time. Okay, some more um, dog tags. So we'll recycle the metal. A uh, little luau bracelet for her an anklet for a girl or boy. Um, okay, this reminds me of a necklace I had in the 70s. little uh, enamel looking butterfly. We can get it off of here. Okay, hair bow that's going in the garbage. Um, oh gosh, this is kind of rough one. It's really sharp and catchy. I'll show you. It's a clam <laughs> and it's catching on everything. Okay, so 
cute little butterfly necklace. I think my granddaughter would like that, or um, I can put it in the pinata pile. So it's going to go in the this pinata or kids or whatever. Okay, um, daughter of God. Um, bracelet necklace. Oh, there's two bracelets. Okay. So one says daughter of God and it's got a little girl with a flashlight or something. And it is, it looks like it could be sterling. Just the, the way it's tarnished. Looks like it could be. The pewter. Oh, made with love. The French theme. Huh. Clasp? Um, no, it's not magnetic. It's got a pewter, maybe. It's just the clasp looked like it could be. Look at that clasp. It's, it's a traditional looking. Anyway, so charms on that. Um, I'll probably keep those. This one is got a sunshine, binoculars, uh, a gun, a campfire, a torch, faith, and a clamshell. I'm sorry, I didn't show you that one. So take the charms off and keep those. Um, homemade kind of open button thing. Donate that. A broken necklace that looks like it's not real. So we're going to recycle that. Um, a choker. So a little choker necklace. I don't think it's silver. I actually have seen silver ones. It's not, but I have seen silver of those before. Um, not quite sure what that is. Don't know that anybody'd want it. Okay, there's a little um, kind of a fake ring. I'm just gonna put that in a pinata. Um. This is kind of cute necklace. Um, it's got a tag on it that says Natasha. Natasha. I like that. I think that's cute. I have a daughter that might like that. They have a sun charm with a blue. Thing on the middle. So magnetic, this one's magnetic. It has a piece of, I don't know, glass carb, um, not glass, kind of a stone, but it's magnetic and I don't think anybody would want it. So yeah. put those down there. There's this stone, it's kind of cute actually, stone bracelet. Not seeing any markings on it and it feels like it's homemade. Just kind of unique stones on it. Oh, I love this. This is the kind of thing I keep around for when I have people come visit me from out of the country because they do not have these in like New Zealand where I lived. And it's funny that it has this little charm. Let me show you what it is. So it's funny that it has this little charm on it because it says peace. Now look at what it's on. <laughs> the real scorpion. Is that hilarious? Like why would they put a peace charm on a scorpion? That is so funny. I love that. 
I think it's on silver too. Uh, or it's plated. Let's see. I'll tell you in a second. Yeah. That is hilarious. It's plated, but it's still cool. Okay, now that would be so awesome hanging on a jar with little scorpions in it at Halloween. Is that just the coolest thing? I love that. That's weird, but I love it. That was cool. Okay. I don't know, we'll get the watch lady. It doesn't I think it's real expensive. Cute little owl. That would also be cute hanging on something. It's, it's too cute, see, to hang on something at Halloween, but that is still cute. Maybe pinata pile. Okay, I have a necklace that's kind of like this sandstone. So I might, might see if that matches. Um, little Hawaii bracelet. I put these with the pinata, I mean with the luau, but if I think um, they go better with the pinata, like this one will go in the pinata. So that's fun. Karma, believe. Keychain with the seahorse. That's a, like I've seen a lot of seahorses the last couple days. And a, a piece of sea glass. So Somebody probably got that on vacation. So that's kind of a fun keychain. Um, wow. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Check that out. That's a big old bling. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, this is very cute. I don't know what you do with it, because I don't know that anybody want to wear it around their neck, but it's... um. A map. Let me show you. And a bird. A map and a bird charm on a copper. Kind of cute. Little globe. I don't know what you do with it. But so this is brass and that's copper. So maybe I'll take the charms off and just save the other thing for. Dog tags. It's not acting very magnetized, but um, hmm. I thought I saw some markings, but it's just where it, it's welded together. And I'm checking to see if there's anything on that. I'm not seeing in the back. Never has that kind. Never has anything on the back. So it's interesting. It's not. Well, the other one, if it has another one, it might have some writing. It's uh, very lightweight, so that's why I thought it could be real. Oh, here's the other one. It's very, very light. Very. It doesn't feel like um, aluminum like normally it would, but uh, it's just very like a gold light. But they haven't bent, and gold would be very easy to bend. So I don't know. I can test them later. Um, I will put these with the Luau stuff because they are shells. So I'll put those with that. OK, 
okay a couple years ago these were popular there's one earring with it if I can find the other earring I'll put it with it um, don't think anybody's gonna want that feather um, pink homemade crystal stone bracelet cute for a little girl but I don't think I'm gonna keep it oh this is awesome I'm loving this so much. So, so much. Come on. This is great. Watch band or something. Oh, look at this. That's a different kind of scorpion. That is awesome. When people come from other countries, I like offering them things they don't have in their country. And scorpions are not in a lot of countries. So that's totally awesome. Loving that. Okay. What a mess. All right. This is a lizard carved out of bone, it looks like. So that's kind of fun for people who don't have. That's kind of cute. I'm going to put that with the scorpions. Lizard carved out of some kind of a bone. That's fun. A Gary Mickey Mouse Child's. Uh, I'm lost at Mickey Disneyland kind of a thing. I don't know. I have to do research on that. I do have family that's going to Disney with kids soon, so maybe I'll look that up and see if that's worth anything. Maybe they can just log it in when they get there or use it. So that's interesting. Um, I like the stone at the bottom, not liking the crystals at the side, so... that. It's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll go with what I have on now. That's a little white. Okay. Come on. So, a very long necklace with a little bell type thing on the bottom of it. I have a daughter that might like that. I don't know. Lately anymore, they're just like adding up stuff. So, uh, half of a smiley face. That would be best friends. Usually with those, I just throw them in the recycling because we don't have the other half and nobody cares. Uh, so, <laughs> anybody know a Jenny that would like a butterfly with their name on it? Double-sided. I don't even know any Jennies. I did years and years ago. Um, donate, because I don't know any Jennies. So, magnetic. All right, a princess crown, a genuine princess charm, and it's a aluminum or something. It's very light. So, grandbaby might like that. Um, a charm bracelet on a homemade kind of a fun one but um, it's used so we don't want to keep it but the charms can come off of it made with I can't I don't know anyway there's little charms on it so I'll take the charms off and throw that other thing away um, there's 
a Claire's necklace that says Ters of. <laughs> so it was a magnetic thing that said Sisters Love or something. So that will also go in the recycling. And, and then I'll just put the chain in there. And this one says hashtag love on it. So donate that one. Um, okay, I'm not sure what this is. an earring of some kind but it almost looks homemade look at it Doesn't that look kind of like a silver homemade thingy but it didn't it's magnetic so Let's see if we can find another one okay and then this one is stones brass a home depot pin I'll uh, put that in the pinata pile. Some earrings, donate. A blue lapage necklace from Mexico or South America. They usually look like silver, but they're usually not silver. Oh, here's the other earring to that feather one. Um, usually they look like it, but they're not, and it's not. They just use some kind of cheaper metal. So it's kind of cute, but it's kind of catchy as well. Your fingers run ugly. It's got hair stuck all over it. It's kind of snaggy. It's home homemade, so I'm going to donate that because I don't want to deal with it. And it's got hair all over it, so yeah. All right, this one has all sorts of weird things on it. A little globe map bead. Looking thing, some kind of earring dangly, another dangly. Um, none of it looks real. So the plates come off the bottom part. Just donate it. I don't even think it's worth it. Recycling it. A heart love, I think that's Brazil. I think that's a Brazil. I love Brazil bracelet. Could be wrong. Not for sure. Um, what is this? Is this a Moana? Oh, look how cute that is. I know somebody that's going to love that. A little green, can you see it light up? It glows. Okay, that's adorable. Yeah, somebody's gonna love that. We know who. So cute. Sometimes I get fun things in these things. Um, earrings out of reason. All cells are final, do not open bag. I don't think those are super cute. I'm not gonna give them as prizes because I don't think they're that exciting and that cute. Okay, another leather watch band and another watch band and a, oh, was it a Fitbit? So I got a real Fitbit in one of these bags and then I didn't have a charger so, and it was working when I got it, like it was reading. It is a Fitbit. So I gave it to my neighbor because she had a charger, but her Fitbit broke. So I gave her the Fitbit, and then um, I found the charger. <laughs> so uh, this is a Fitbit. I do have a charger, and I will charge it and see if it works. If it works, that's awesome. I had a daughter that was looking for one. So Yahoo! Got to love it. And this is the $15 bag. This is awesome. Um, there's the other little brass earring that kind of... Stone. I have a daughter that might want those. Um, my little princess five that's on a mission, she likes natural stone um, jewelry, so we'll see about that. 
Okay, leather bracelet. Um, kind of a, a guy thing, maybe at Halloween. I, I put a bunch of stuff out at Halloween and let the boys take it. That looks like something a boy might like, don't you think? Kind of a boy thing. So, all right. And this also looks like a, a Boy Scout thing. It kind of looks like it's made out of shoelaces from a boot. So I will just undo that and keep those for shoelaces probably. Um, a little stone bracelet. Kind of looks like it would go very well with Snow White. And incidentally, when my little princess was here, she saw that I had a Snow White dress. So she asked if she could have it. It fits her really well. And I had made her a cape for a gift out of the blue velvet. So she has a blue velvet cape. And we went to a secondhand store and she found a Snow White wand, which I've never seen before. And it flipped and um, lit up. And this actually would go really well with that. They're glass beads, but I think that would match her little Snow White costume very well. And she was out of this world excited. Um, this is also leather. Um, and rope. So maybe Boy Scout. Um, yeah, that's odd. So they made it, <laughs> I don't know, paracord bracelet with that. It doesn't seem to go well. Okay, so there's my one gaudy ring. <coughs> yeah, choking on it here. My second gaudy ring. <laughs> A J. Don't need that, I have no idea. Little earring. Another leather band, another paracord, missing the, <laughs> I wonder what you could use the paracord for. It's like, it's brand new, but it's like missing the button thing. Oh no, it's not. It's just a knot and, I don't know. Um, another hair elastic. Don't keep those. Oh, that's gorgeous. The stone, look how pretty that is. I'll keep that. I like that. I wonder what I could use it for. We'll find something. And then <clears throat> these are adorable little British earrings. Is that cute? Those are kind of cute. Somebody made them. They're like, like thread. It's cute. Uh, pinata. Pinata. Um, I don't know why this would be in a bag. Looks like it might be plated, but it's pearl and diamond. The markings. These are all just weirdly bagged. Um, Bats. Those would be fun. They're bats with little stones in them. Those would be fun for the Halloween jars. Let me show you. Look how cute. Or Batman. Superhero. Comic Con. I don't know. I'll have to ask my kids about those. I don't know on those. Uh, I believe love the affinity bracelet. I can use those for prizes. They're kind of out of style, but it's funny when they get stuff like that and the things. Where's there's a will, there's a way. I don't know if it needs it. So these are all like brand new. Some earrings that would be fun. Prizes. Some pearl earrings, some heart diamond, some Japan or China looking earrings. So those will be fun. Um, another bracelet. These are all kind of fun things for like when we play family games at Scouts. I can use them as prizes or family reunions or something. Uh, a gold dipped sand dollar is what that looks like. It's 
see what people are having. Um, yeah. Um, I think it's not dipped. I think it's just um, metal. I think I'm just going to recycle that. That's very, very heavy. Another one of the bracelets. Um, these were popular a few years back. Just twine wrapped around balls or something. Still has the price tag tag thingy on it, but I'm not going to keep it. Oh, this is interesting. It's a Home Depot watch. It's brand new. It's got the plastic still on it. So that's kind of fun. It's very, very heavy. Have to look that up. Homer. Homer Award. Ah. Somebody that worked at Home Depot apparently didn't want to wear their watch that they got awarded. A little CTR locket. This is choose the right. That's what that means. A little flip flop. All these charms coming off. A little flower. Okay, gold. This has got to be missing something. Bolo. Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's been used, but it's it's like got the slide, but there's nothing on it, so it looks like something came off of it. So I'll have to keep an eye out for that. Don't know where that would be, but this looks like African beads. Um, I guess as it could be. Um, the way it's made. The strings are broken, so we can cut those off, but... Um, I have a daughter that went to Africa on a service mission. I'll see if she's interested. That's kind of a cute piece cleaned up. Um, this looks like a homemade um, brass pen. That's some kind of a bird. So, a love you forever <laughs> necklace homemade thing. <laughs> what I will do with that is cut that off and use the chain in the pirate um, treasure chest because that's nice gold. It's not real. You can see that. So let's take off the love you forever. Well, I'll cut that off later. But that'll look fun in the pirate's chest. So a yellow slip wrist Slap wrist. These things go like that. And we broke one open, and it's a ruler. It's actually a ruler from China, <laughs> made in China. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, there's a couple more of those bracelets. This one has a book charm on it. So, another one of those. Uh, here's a frog charm. Here is a blue earring. Here is a funky, I don't know, looks like it would go really well with a sari. Bright sari. Um, I'm not even going to deal with this. It's, um, yeah, it's a mess. And then there's this gold plated. Um, bracelet and you can see the plating is coming off in a lot of places so I just put that right in the recycle with the gold and then the, we can when you're recycling we can get the gold off oh it's another Fitbit but this one's looking a little rough rougher this one's black um yeah, it's a little more scratched up than the other one, but so here's the first one and it's got the 
cover that goes over the back. And this one's missing the cover that goes over the back. So hopefully one of them works. Little girl's earrings. Donate. A garter or a headband. It looks like a garter because it's kind of rough. So for a wedding, I'm guessing. That looks like it would be rough on a baby's head. I'm guessing it's a garter for a wedding and it's still got the clip on it. So it's like new, not used, but um, I don't know what I would do with it. So um, cute, my little kitty, no, it's a cute little watch. Battery, but I'll ask my daughter if she wants any for her kids. If not, I'll donate it to the watch lady. And this reminds me of my mother. If you look at my blog, you'll know whenever I see a rainbow, it reminds me of my mom. So um, she used to sing that to us every night. And then I was in a group when I was younger called Rainbow's End that she was she taught them. And it's like a cute little duck. So anyway, it just kind of reminds me of my mom. Uh, this is one of those, um, they make them in this Africa, this one's made in Uganda. They take magazines and roll them up on a spinner and make them into beads with dipping them into stuff. So, that. My Little Pony watch that is working somewhat, almost dead, and grandkids might like that. I'll have to talk to the mom. And then a Timex watch that's water resistant that is not working. So it's uh, something. A sunglass cord holder. A broken bracelet. Plasticky something or other. Um, don't even know what to tell you. That would be a very small bracelet. So I think it's missing some pieces. So I think that's going to go in the bead, get rid of thing. A little plastic key for um, fake um, handcuffs. A little plastic key. Uh, oh, look, another Mickey. Oh, I think you, oh, they have names on them. So maybe you pay for them at the park, put them on them, and, or the cruise maybe. And maybe this is how they pay to get on the rides or something or not get lost. I think I've seen these on the cruises, the Disney cruises, and they've got them size appropriate. So this is like Gary the dad, and this is like Mason the kid. Look at the size difference. I don't know. I, I do remember seeing them, so maybe that's just memorabilia from the from the park. A husky dog shrinky dink charm that probably goes with that pause thing. I don't think anybody's going to want that. So We did have a husky growing up. Her name was Misha. And we lived on a busy road and she got hit by a car. And that was sad because she was very smart and beautiful. Girls rule charm. An ice cream cone charm. A blank charm with a J on it. A sand castle, or just a castle. Um, uh, oh, that one's kind of fun. It's a wolf with the uh, abalone shell in it. Stars, more stars, flowers, butterflies. Uh, these are real. These are real pearl earrings. This one's broken, but can you see those? Those are real. I'm going to see if I can find the stem for that other one and fix it up. So it was kind of orangey set and then a kind of a pink set. Um, so those are, are real. The heavy feel and the fine tone. Uh, a little terrier dog, um, black glass earrings, um, a princess crown. 
says love, another flower, all these little charms. Two of these. Um, one of these. One of these. It's just a bead, a clasp, lobster clasp, and a pearl, and then a charm. So, wow. Fun. That was it. For $15, that was a good one. It had some fun things in it. Um, I don't know. I think these are, I think these are from the other bag or something. I don't know. Let's see. What is this? Why is this here? One of them looks like it might not be as magnetic as the others. So let's try them. Magnetic. Clasp is um, that's got to be like a gold plate or something or gold filled. Let's see this one. Also this one. So this one's sticking. And this one is sticking somewhat, but it's got um, hallmarks of not being real. So yeah, I'm not quite sure why it's not as magnetic, but it, both the clasps are cheap looking. So what do we have? Ugh. So this could be a really good bag for 15 because the two Fitbits and this other big Fitbit. So we've got a big Fitbit and these two smaller Fitbits. If any of them work, that could be a good good $15 bag. Then of course I have these gorgeous rings that I don't know how I will live without them, but my granddaughter will love them for dress ups. Can hear them rattling. And then there's this cool Home Depot watch that's brand new. Don't know that it's worth anything. Um, a bunch of these brand new things. Um, I don't think those Mickey things are worth anything. Like I said, I think you have to get them when you pay for them on the cruise or something. Um, possibly the bracelet that matches the necklace that I think is silver. A couple of pearl earrings that are real. Some Batman earrings, which can't go wrong with those. But loving these. Loving these. Loving these. Look at how cool this is. Love it. I absolutely love it because I give these away and the boys think they are all that when they come and visit from other countries or others like different states where they don't have these. So I love it when I can find cool things that they would think are cool. A little bone, that's cool. And a silver bracelet. So for 15, I think that was a very good bag. I got a lot of cool stuff, a lot of fun things. I think that was most of it. There's this designer necklace, but it's not one of my favorite things out of the bag. I don't know. Did I show you this as well? I don't know if I did. I can't remember if this was from this bag or what, but it's just so much stuff now. It's piles all over. So the Fitbits are really cool, and I hope that they, they work, and that would be worth well worth the $15 for the bag, plus the silver bracelet and everything else. I think it's... It's a good bag because these, these things are cool. I really like these. I wouldn't pay $15 for them cool, but yay for I was getting them in the bag anyway. So awesome. Lots of recycle, lots of watches. There was, what, five or six watches in there. So yay. Happy, happy, good thing. Um, okay. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.